Hey guys, Lauren with Ladoo Fitness here, and today we have an awesome workout that I love because it's great for if you're short on time and also are looking for something to burn a lot of calories in the time you have. Um, so I don't like long introductions, so let's get right into the workout. We're going to start with some arm circles back, nice and big, opening up your chest. Good, and forward. The moves we do today are going to be what we would call explosive. So there's only three moves and I'll show you how to do them. And they will burn the most calories because you are putting all of your effort into each move. As we do the moves, um, I'll give you some modifications, but we want you to get through each exercise fully. So I'll explain what that means. Awesome. We're going to do some back lunges, so you want to lunge back, knee going behind the toes. If a lunge is too much for you, you can always just step back, just slightly, one more each side. Good, jog in place, nice and easy. Not looking to get our heart rates up too high just yet. And jumping jacks. I just got braces, so it's pretty exciting. There's the braces. Oh, are you zooming <laughs> in? All right. Kick. Good. Opposite way. Going back and up. One more, side to side lunges, sinking nice and low on our squats. You don't want to get too low so that you feel your back kind of pulling, but you want to get as low as you can, good form, sticking your butt back. One more each side. Awesome, we're gonna walk it on down, warm up that core. Hold your plank here. You have the option to drop to your knees or stay up on your toes. Just like this right here. And your third option is to turn into a side plank. Come to the middle, side plank, middle. This is really good for your spine, also good for your abs and your back, your whole core is working right here. Good, hold that plank. We're gonna move to mountain climbers, option one and two, go. Eyes are forward, pushing through the shoulder blades. You don't want to sink down. Ten, eight, three, two, one. Very good. All right, so we're going to move on to the workout. You should feel warm at this point. We have thrusters to start. Grab a lighter weight because we're going to do each exercise for a lot of reps 
and then slowly go down the ladder. So squat thrusters, bent rows, high knees. Our first move, the thrusters, it's a squat with your elbows nice and high, not out to the sides, not to the front, about 45 degrees right here. And then our squat, you're gonna have your feet further than shoulder width apart, just slightly. Your feet are turned out also just slightly. You come down and up. You wanna make sure you come nice and low, but not too low, okay? This doesn't do you any good. And if you need a modifier, once again, don't go as deep in your squat. Move number two is a bent over row. So your feet are gonna be closer together than shoulder width. Slight bend in the knees. You're gonna come down, row up. Down, row up. So our traditional row, you're staying right here. But with this explosive movement, you're gonna crunch, bringing the abs nice and tight and tall. Our third move is high knees. Pretty self-explanatory, but here's option one and option two. Okay, so each move is one, two, three, four with those high knees. We have 21 squat thrusters, 21 bent rows, 50 high knees. Grab the weight of your choice. We're gonna get going. Okay. This is my second workout of the day. I'm a little bit scared, but we got this. Ready and go. Good, that's 21. Moving on to our bent over rows. I'm gonna try the 15s, so we'll see. So, we're coming down. Very good. High knees, coming up, ready, go. Ten. Three, two, one, and stop. Very good. Woo! Got my heart rate up. Hopefully yours too. We're gonna go as fast as you can. If you need to take breaks, take them. But we want to see the full movement. So, not just squats, not just presses, squat press. Ready? 18. And go. So while Lauren's doing this, this is Gary chiming in from the background. Um, you guys are going at your own pace here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the exercises in the description on the video. Um, It'll be just in the description area on YouTube. And it'll say the exercises, the number of reps that you have to do. So if you, for some reason, can't keep up with Lauren, most people can't, I can't do it myself, um, just go at your own pace. You'll have the exercises listed there for you. And then you just finish when you finish. Finish when you finish, but you better finish. Right? And if you, you know, if you get to failure halfway through the set, take a break, you know, try to keep it to less than 10 seconds. You can drop your weights down a little bit if you need to. Um, just do whatever you need to do to finish each set.
16, 17, 18. Okay, so that first round was 21 thrusts, 21 bent rows, 50 high knees. Now we have 18 thrusts, 18 rows, 40 high knees. Now we have 15 thrusters, 15 bent rows, 30 high knees. And we have five rounds of each, just in case you guys are wondering how many of these we're doing. Ah, all right. Ready? Go. 15 reps. one so I can talk to you while I do it. With your bent over rows, a lot of times we'll pull from one side, but I want you to really think about your back muscles and pull equally from your right and left. So pull together, down, pull together, down. And you guys can use the legs a little bit on these too. Five more. That's it. All right. Hopefully. Woo. You're correct. 30 high knees. Ready and go. Obviously, if this whole thing is a breeze for you, just go bigger with your weights. Yep. Same thing here about equally using all your muscles. You might tend to rotate to one side or the other. Try not to. You got 12, right? Mm -hmm. So pay attention to your body. 12. Awesome. High knees for 20 and go. Increase my weights because this is our last one. Ten of each, thrust and bent rows, and go. Twenty on the last one. Twenty high knees. Woo. All right, guys, you did it. Your heart rate should be high. If you still have some repetitions to get in, pause this video, and when you're done, press play again so we can stretch out together. 
If you're with me, if you kept up, kudos and raise those arms up. If you have asthma, like me, make sure that you take your inhaler at least 20 minutes, but not more than 40 before you start any activity that could get your lungs really psyched up. Grab your arms behind, point your fingers down. Awesome, couple more upper body stretches. You're gonna take one arm out to the side. You're gonna press this chicken wing into your body. You're gonna rotate your head to the side of the chicken wing. And other side. Remember to press that wrist into the palm of your other hand. Come on down. These workouts are really great too because they're so simple that you can either follow me on the video or you can write down the workouts and do them yourself. And if the weather's nice, if you want to get outside, it's a great opportunity to get outside and do something different. You can run, you can do stairs, you can do all kinds of stuff outside, but if you're like me, I wish all my workouts were outside because I love the sun. Wear sunblock, of course. Awesome, walk it together. Another thing I really love about this workout is that yeah, there's some high knees. There's a little bit of jumping involved, but it's not super hard on the joints. And also, if you've had a baby before, you know that jumping up and down doesn't quite feel the same as it used to. So, I really love that. So, I hope you loved it too. Bring that knee in and really push through that hip flexor. That's right here. You gotta squeeze your glutes and push through. Awesome. Roll back. Do a nice um, hamstring stretch. And switch. you're going to come down into, and I'm not very good at this one, but you're going to kind of try to stretch out your inner thighs. You can point your toe up or keep your foot down. It's a little bit different depending on what you choose, but really just kind of sink in there and breathe and switch. Awesome, you're gonna come to the floor. You're gonna stretch out that upper body. You're gonna rotate here and place that top arm all the way above your head. Trying to reach each finger a little further. And switch. Downward dog. Feet are flat. It's like flat as you can get them. Ooh. Walk yourself back up. Hang here for a second. And slowly bring yourselves up. 
Awesome job, guys. Way to go. Hope you had a great workout, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Done in 20 minutes.